Uh, hi everyone, we're back uh, with a new video, a new iteration of the car. As you can see, it's got some new lights inside. That's an Arduino Nano, the bright blue one. And then around the back, you can see a GPS aerial and two fidget chips. One of those is GPS, the other's an accelerometer. So we've got some new functionality on here, which I'm going to demonstrate now. So the new devices uh, need new interfaces and new new code. So um, I'm going to demonstrate that to you. I've, uh, as you can see, logged into the car here. That's spd.local. That's where our service lives, and I'm going to start that service now. Um, uh, at the moment, I'm using a fidget. Um, uh, for the GPS and the accelerometer and the, the networking is uh, all done with a, a MiFi so that's like a, a portable uh, 3G Wi-Fi hotpoint and um, so this makes us truly mobile so we can go 3G wherever so you can see now the web sockets have come online uh, and we can also see some of the devices on the USB bus so I'm now gonna so that's on the car, that's the server running on the car. And I'm going to go to my web browser, visit the Node.js web service. Now hopefully this loads. Yes. And it should connect to the web sockets about now. There we are. So we can see there We've got uh, a cube which represents the orientation of the car. Um, over here on the right hand side, you can see various properties of the models. As I move the wheels, you see the numbers go up and down, GPS coordinates, current time, uh, and these are in real time. Uh, linear accelerometer, angular accelerometer, and a magnetometer, which tells us which direction north is, so I can make a compass. Uh, and, and, and we also have Google Maps. So that gives us our exact current location. So now, as I move the car, you should be able to see the cube turn as the car turns and that's measuring the actual physical properties of the vehicle so again this is all in real time and the map will update too